um, because I have a very common question. Well, okay, we're not playing slow. What are we doing with playing fast? Though? How are you able to play fast and yet intonate everything and also intonate so many voices at the same time, you know? If you are going to speed up uh, uh, with the same sensation, uh, 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 this is me singing fast. This is me playing fast, but I still feel that space between the notes with resistance. Without resistance, I would sing. Uh, 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 Versus, you see, it's like my, my voice is really carried, no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a true portamento here. Um, and that's basically how we do it. Because, again, just like with polyphonic ear, we can imagine so many voices simultaneously, even if we cannot sing them out loud. The same with intonation. We can intonate as fast as we want as many voices as we want at the same time internally, even if we cannot out loud. And whatever I play, I intonate. You see, if, you, if your voice is not truly relaxed and you end up it's like you are it's like you're pushing like this a little. But it's a sort of combination of not pushing. Your hand is not doing this, you know? Your hand, your voice is not just pushing it, you know? Your hand is relaxed, your resistance is pushing opposite direction, but your hand's still in a relaxed state with a little vibration pushing it forward. But it's not just a pushing of your hand like this. And that can result in, in a flat line in your frequencies. So, uh, Maybe don't push with resistance too much. It can also uh -huh. help. Yeah, yeah, you're getting there. I think if you sing a hundred times, you'll get there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> If I play without intonation, and I'm actually also I can speak while doing it. Well, I will play for some time because my muscles are still remember how to play it correctly. You know, I can talk, I can think about something. But if I intonate, I'm unable to talk. If I intonate correctly. I, if I'm trying to speak, I just say, I'm trying to speak, you know, <laughs> impossible, yeah, because I speak all the time. <laughs> and with this, I can really advance and I can um, control the speed, I can control the evenness of sound and the rhythm, you know, it's a great tool. What I found very interesting about you, this way of thinking musical and technical at the same time is the same thing that you have is that it's impossible to play to to practice without concentration because in corto i can like be in two hours here and my mind go everywhere but with your with thinking musical and technical the way you put it's impossible to do two things at the same time to think it and something else is impossible. So mm -hmm. I'm feeling very much more concentrated studying your method than I ever find myself. And that's why it's so pleasant to practice because it's a meditation. Yeah. I cannot think about anything else. I don't think about past or future. All I think are given tasks because there is so much. <laughs> And also, you know, with, with Carto, what you said, basically, you were practicing how mind wandering while playing the piano. <laughs> it's actually yeah. the worst thing you could do. And let's say all that energy that you feel here, singing with intonation, should just go here. But if you do both humming, or if you are playing with without 
uh, sufficiently relaxed hands, then the energy that you create in your throat is spread. Like if you hum, then it goes to your throat and it's not really delivered fully to, the, to your hand, to your palm. And if you keep tension in your hand, is like is the same what we talked about in the first lesson hence just the bridge between your intention and the instrument so again your energy will not be delivered <laughs> to to the source you know that you want to use to express it so we want to make sure that we use just one ultimate channel to express our intentions and that no humming no unhealthy tension are in in the way. So basically if I if I play in hum I'm distracting myself. And that resistance is not fully going to my my fingers. I'm losing in fact focus. Yes, if we want to play with intonation but we have fixation in our hand because it's natural that you have some tension here, so it's natural that you might want to do this with the whole hand the same way, you know, <laughs> the dramatic conducting here. Mm -hmm. But it's, it, it takes actually a um, um, conscious effort to keep your hand relaxed and only use one narrow channel and channeling it to your finger only. Or I really just feel it here energetically. But you will only feel it if your hand is relaxed. And uh, remember, if we're gonna play in a quite a slow tempo, which you will, your rolls and swings are gonna have good amplitude. And if you can talk while playing, that means you're not doing it right. Yeah. <laughs> and when you play faster, the Sorry. movements, bless you, the movements will be not so deep. So your, your reach doesn't go deeper than the keyboard. So you're going... Mm -hmm. 